Tyler O'Neill back in center field. Always a pleasure to talk to Tyler. How you doing, my friend? Doing very well. How are you? Doing well. Good to see you. So center field, that was something during the offseason you went and asked, hey, I'd like a crack at center field. What was behind that? Yeah, it was actually a conversation that uh, Ollie and I had at the end of last season. Um, you know, I wanted to know where I stood coming into the offseason, be able to prepare for that in the right way. Um, you know, just be able to get my feet under me out here and uh, mentally prepare for playing center and 160 games out there or so, somewhere in there. Um, you know, it was very good for me, good for my mentality. Um, you know, offseason went, went, went unreal. You know, I really enjoyed my time out here in St. Louis and working with the staff, and uh, my training has gone to another level, or it has gone to another level and um, just ready to play play a full season of baseball here. What's the difference is between center field and playing left? Yeah, I mean, they're they're a little different, right? Um, you know, obviously you're catching fly balls out there. Um, center field, the ball comes off a little more true. There's more backspin. Obviously, there's more ground to cover, so you just got to be ready for a little more running. Um, you know, when you're out in the corners, get a little more topspin action, some slicing. Um, you know, spin kind of comes off the bat a little differently out there. So, uh, But there's a little less ground to cover, so it's just a little adjustment, uh, but that's the name of the game. When you're healthy, you produce, and you told me... Uh I think during the offseason, maybe uh, at the winter warm-up, your goal is to be on the field and that you sort of tailored your preparedness to try to keep you on the field. That involves kind of tweaking your training. Yeah, well, I took uh, my body maintenance a lot more seriously this year. Uh, you know, again, you know, I worked out here in St. Louis, and uh, to be able to work with the medical staff, you know, day in, day out was very beneficial for me. I uh, got my chiropractor out here. We have our, got our masseuse out here. Uh, you know, just keep my body in, in tip-top shape and ready for the next workout, ready for the next day. Uh, that was key for me, and, you know, just making sure I'm taking uh, taking pride in my warm-ups um, before I actually get under the bar and do some heavy stuff. Um, you know, it's just feeling great so far, so I'm just going to stick with that routine. Looks good so far, too. And the opener, you homered four straight opening day home runs. What is that about? Four straight opening days where you homer. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, you know, I got to hit the first one first. Uh, and, you know, thankful I've been able to knock four in a row. Um, you know, I'm just trying to go up there and put together a good at-bat for my team. Um, you know, just get a pitch that I can handle. I'm not trying to do too much with it. And, and, it's, and just trust what I've been doing all off season. Um, you know, thankful the work's showing off so far this year. Um, it's ready to play 161 more. Last thing, what was the takeaway being part of Team Canada? Yeah, unbelievable experience for me playing uh, over in Arizona there. Uh, it's a different feeling representing your country and then putting that across your chest. Um, you know, those are opportunities that I want to take up every op every chance that I get. Um, you know, I don't know how many how many of those I'm going to have. So uh, it's very special, very special week for me. Uh, you know, it's cool to win a couple ball games. We didn't do that in the 2017 WBC, and there's a lot of young talent coming up in baseball Canada. So it's uh, it awesome to see. Thanks for the time. We always appreciate it. Thanks, Jim.